Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to um, share this uh, bit of uh, information to any of the um, PlayStation uh, 4 owners or, I mean, of course, you know, if you got PlayStation 5, you can also play all PlayStation 4 games on it as well, but I um, just, just wanted to share this uh, information with the uh, PlayStation holders that might, um, you know, be subscribed to my channel. Um, for PlayStation, uh, when it comes to MMOs, we've kind of been limited to experience any really good MMOs. I want, I want to say, I mean, of course, there's been some, you know, Neverwinter or Terror or, you know, some players that experience some of those uh, type of uh, games that I've played in the past. Like, uh, well, Onigiri was probably the worst of them, but I played that one for the longest. <laughs> um, but, you know, because you got the Final Fantasy players and things of that nature but um, I'm, I'm excited about new genesis about pso fantasy star you know online coming to um playstation because it is a great title um really really good you know in my mode that's not like heavy on monetization so like that's something i, I really have to uh say that i'm impressed with about the franchise that they they're not heavy on monetization so it's a you know pretty fun game that won't be um you know trying to uh hit you in the pockets every time you turn around <laughs> you know so i'm excited for that to be coming to playstation right, brother, and just share the news any star online 2 new genesis would be releasing on playstation 4 sometime in the future and today we received official confirmation that this is true yesterday it was rumored because of pictures floating around from the anime expo floor but the official fantasy star online 2 twitter today confirmed it with a post of themselves this is exactly two years after the original interview with phil spencer saying that fantasy star online 2 will be available on all consoles in the west sometime in the future now there is some information that a lot of players currently have about whether or not they're going to be able to transfer their accounts with cross save and or ac and or it will there be censorship so hopefully this video will help you out when it comes to answering at least some of those questions now if you're already playing fantasy star online 2 new genesis on pc or on xbox then you have nothing to worry about because nothing in those current versions will be changed at all the game will in fact be cross play so you really have nothing to worry about at all there either so for those of you guys who really want to you'll be able to play with your friends family and other people of that vicinity now the official website winds up giving us some information about how to manage and consume ac on the playstation version and this is pretty much in line even with the japanese version where ac is separate based on the version that you're playing if you purchase ac on the ps4 version or by using ac exchange tickets from the playstation store you will not be able to use that ac on any other platform a lot of this is due to how a lot of playstation games are handled when it comes to their transaction so this is really to no fault of sega at all this is usually a sony of america or sony of japan thing now, when it comes to a lot of people talking about censorship is that may still be possible but if you're already playing on xbox and or pc then you really have nothing to worry about under the official website it says that there will be platform exclusive items such as items given out as bonuses that are only available for use as equipment on their corresponding platforms it then goes on to say that therefore some items cannot be used or equipped on the ps4 version and some cannot be used or equipped on non-ps4 version items will be hidden or replaced with a different appearance if players log into the platform where these items are restricted while having them equipped and that these same restrictions will apply to these areas where these items are displayed such as furnishings that allow you to showcase your equipment now what this actually could mean besides censorship is the xbox available fashion could just be a different appearance and for those of you guys who are curious as to what that looks like it's basically this it stands to reason that this is what they would mean because effectively you'd be instigating the console wars in the west even further by having xbox players with their dope ass fashion jacket crowd around their playstation friends and cause some animosity there now this is a little bit of an extreme example but usually it comes down to something like advertisement however other than that this is a good move on sega's part i'm sure that there's going to be a lot of people who are like this isn't a good move this is a good move but that means more players are going to be playing fantasy star and to me that's a good thing overall now, the next question that a lot of players are probably going to have is is this going to be available on the playstation 5 it stands to reason that it might be and it might be just one of those games that where it is a playstation 4 version you are able to download it on your playstation 5 and looking at the playstation library there are a lot of games like that 
But all in all, this only just means that there'll be more players who are going to be playing the game. If you're brand new to the game, then this just means there's a lot of good things for you. You'll have all the content of base PS2 and new Genesis at your disposal. You'll be able to play some of the newest updates in new Genesis right away, as well as already have access to the Waker class, Braver, and Bouncer, and then all of the available base classes as a result. While being completely honest, from a current player standpoint, there are a lot of issues with the game. Having a fresh pair of eyes or even being able to experience the game brand new in its current state would be a good thing for a lot of players so with that being said again this is really exciting news that there is an official confirmation that this will be coming out on august 31st for the playstation platform and the only thing that i would hope is that sega doesn't open any additional ships and it helps to solve the population issues on ships three and four before opening up a new one and for those of you guys who are brand new to the game ships are your server but with that being said ladies and gentlemen thank you guys again for watching stay awesome stay beautiful and if you're brand new welcome to art i will see you guys in the next video all right so there it is that's uh you know wanted to share that uh with the let's say with the playstation owners that is something to look forward to and uh hopefully i'll see some of you guys on there